know y'all probably looking at me like, girl, you're getting crazy. I don't. <laughs> I just got to finish. Dice is on the beat. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hi, I'm Sin and welcome to my channel and if you're new, that also means you're not subscribed so stop, take a second, become a Sin babe or whatever, the subscribe button is down below. Also, I like to do like subscriber shout outs with their comments, how to find my phone. So the comment that I am going to be shouting out today is from my last video, I did the come work with me video. Her name is Tara Elizabeth on YouTube. Thank you so much for your comment. She said, I love your photo ideas. I very much appreciate your comment and you leave a like on my video. Thank you. If you guys would like to get a subscriber shout out as well, or just a shout out in general, I've decided I'm just going to shout out comments. Leave a comment down below and let it be genuine and you might be in the next one. Also, follow me over on Instagram. It'll be on screen. I'm trying to get to 10k before the month is over with. So if you would like to help me reach that goal, you can go over and follow me on Instagram. But in today's video, as you see from the title, I'll be showing you guys this makeup look, which is what I usually go to when I do my makeup to do content. If I'm just getting cute, this is like my go-to makeup look. So if you guys like it, let me show you. This is me in like like so if you guys like to see how I got this very natural look with the little pop on the eyes just continue to watch I'll show you all of this so if you guys are feeling what I've got going on so far and like it stay tuned who making the sex tape <laughs> but anyway if you guys you know are interested in how I got this look and my lashes and everything that I use just continue to watch and I'll see everything so here we go okay y'all so just gonna go ahead and jump right in so number one my brushes are they're not dirty but they're not clean but I'm saving that for another video so stay on the lookout for that about my brushes but just jump right in most of the stuff I've already had and if you know me like me doing makeup is very minimal like minimum I do the bare minimum so I think I'm just going to start with I'm trying to debate if I want to start with like putting on my lashes and stuff also a lot of the times i don't do my eyebrows i've just outgrown it like i have phases when it comes to doing stuff and i'm not in the phase of doing my eyebrows at the moment they might come back i don't know but most of the time i do not do my eyebrows so i'm trying to figure i don't want to go ahead and do my lashes you know i'm gonna do my highlight mirrors first so i'm trying out this new well it's not new i use pro conceal but i'm using a new shade to see if it'll work for my highlighted areas when i'm not doing like a like beat beat on my face and this is in the shade toast i'm hoping that it's not too light but it's also light enough to be a concealer so let's see so when i highlight i mainly do under my lid first to make sure it don't spit everywhere i like to do right up under my eye all things like this and i do literally the smallest amount just because i don't know if it, where it was but it was just saying that like when you droop and do all that extra stuff, it just brings your face through. Whereas I don't do that. And so I just do that much. And I'm so far already like liking it. And I'm taking a damp beauty blender and blending. And when I blend, I try to keep it where it's at. I'm not trying to spread it around. I'm really trying to pat it in and then like blend out the edges basically. So I'm patting and then That's like perfect. So look. And as you can see, it brightens up my face without it being like too ashy. So I really like that. And so a lot of times I like to do my lip, cause my lip area be dark sometimes. So I just like to add a little bit to my lip. But I skip over my cupid's bow. Just because I don't want to do that much so, boom. so that is the start so now I'll take the excess to just do my chin and do my forehead but for the most part I don't do that much makeup like highlighting makeup like, and so if you know me I do concealer for my highlight and then for my contour I just do my regular foundation for today I'm using the Fenty Beauty I've had this for a minute 
And then I'm using my foundation brush, which is from It Brushes, I think, USA, Ulta. Oh, it's from It Brushes by Ulta. And it's just like that little blurry brush or whatever. So I'm just going to like pump a little bit where I will contour at and go from there. You just need a little bit, really. Like I'm not even going to add any more. I'm going to use that little bit and then, and then take any excess to like the top of my face. And I know y'all probably looking at me like, girl, you're good and crazy. I don't. <laughs> I just got to finish. Also because of how I like my face, I like to have a very structured, I have very high plump cheeks. So I like to do my contour like sharp. Cause it gives me that. So when I do my, cause this is my good side. So when I do my little face to the side, it looks good. It looks very, you know, naturally clipped. Oh, and I didn't do the disclaimer at the beginning, but disclaimer, I am not a makeup artist. I am a licensed cosmetologist, but I'm not a professional, so this is not a tutorial. This is just me showing you what I do, which is barely anything. And so that is currently my face. So that's that. The answer you guys know, I didn't put anything on my nose. That is because, I mean, that is because I use a smaller brush to do my nose. And I don't like to actually highlight my nose. I'm just going to. So that is what I like to do. So now I'm going to go in. I still use the same palette. It's a new palette, but I still use the same basically thing. This is the Strobing and Shading Highlight and Contour by Absolute New York in Tan to Deep. And so I'm going to take. This brush, which I got from AOA Studio, I'm thinking about going to their website and doing another haul and video with them because my first one did pretty good for my channel, so I might. And I say it everywhere as if I did put makeup on. And so this is where with my contour, I come in and I kind of like add because I didn't put any makeup on the bottom of my face, so I'm gonna come in and kind of like. And I'm just slapping it on there like I'm not doing blending or nothing. Cause that'll come next. Well less. See how I cut I look. Okay. And so I am gonna come down my nose with like the extra so it's like the middle. I like to, I do like to use more powder. I don't know why it's just me. So now I'm gonna use this brush which I also got from AOA. It's just a high depth brush angle which helps me with the contour. So I come back into this palette and use the deeper shade to set my contour. And so now I'm gonna take that same small brush that I used to do my nose to powder my nose. I should get me another one. Oh yeah, I will use this brush for my nose, like this, this part, but I just did. Oh, it's right there. Okay, so while that's like setting, I'm going to go in and do my lashes. I'll be using my lash pen for my business. This is my Bling Eyeliner and Lash Glue Pen. I think they're on sale for like $3.50 right now. Get you one. Works great. I'll also be wearing my 25mm lashes in the style Trophy Wife. I love these. They're like, they were really my first favorite pair of 25 pounds lashes. So with my liner pen, what I do to get like the best application with this pen is I do my eyeliner first. You know, it's an eyeliner pen. So I'm going to do my eyeliner. I'm not the best at doing eyeliner anymore. I used to be very good at doing eyeliner. I'm getting back into the swing thing. As you can see, like me doing, <laughs> it's, it's just not what it used to be. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. okay. But so, and then the directions that I give, I also got from my vendor for these pens, is to do your eyeliner, line it again, so line twice, and then stick the lashes. What I like to do is I line my eye, get the lash, and then I just apply the actual like this to the lash. I just feel like it creates like a magnetic lash type of thing. But that's just what I do. You don't have to do that. And then like I said in my 
get ready with me for a work video, I'll fly my mother with my hands. Yes, one on, and then again, just you literally just taking the pen and like coloring on the base. You can't really see this color, <laughs> and then I just apply. Boom! Oh, sure. Lashes on, super easy. So now we're going back into my powder palette and we're going to take my all over brush well face this is from booty this is from beauty accents it's a total face brush and i just take the shade that's like my tone and get a little bit on the brush like tap the excess off and then i just go in and like blend so i'm gonna use my far away mirror to do this so i'll come in where the meat and just blend it together. And if I want to, I'll come in and just, where I actually like pat it in the powder, just get like the top pieces off. But again, my main goal is to blend my line. And for the most part, this is your girl. So you can see like what I'm really looking like. Okay, that's good. Just so that you guys get it just a little bit more. So now, what I'm basically about to do, I'm going to use my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I got this new yesterday, but this is more of like a refill. I've had the um the collection. Like it was this one, but it was from like their collection. So I got this and I'm just going to spray my face before I do highlight. And if you get a new one, you just want to kind of like spray it and then use it. Just to make sure it's not going And I think of setting powder to like, I mean setting spray to just, I don't even know. But when I do it, I pat it in to get that full um, effect, I guess. Whatever. And then still same palette that I use, my Wet n Wild. Nope, this is Bitch Cosmetics Wet and Radiance Illuminating Palette. And just because it's kind of old, I um take my setting spray and just give it a little spray, just to moisten it up. Take my AOA Studio Brush I use for highlighting. And if you watch like my old videos, you know like I used to run out with highlighter. Like I used to like roll out. Do it on my cupid's bow. Just because if you haven't noticed, I have a very defined cupid's bow. So I just take highlighters to like define it. And then the little uh, exclamation point. I should have pulled this lash over. So I'll put that one there. But I feel like this, your size and your face are sisters, not twins. So we're not going to, you know. So now for my favorite part, the lips. I was going to use my white eyeliner. You guys know I like to do my dots. I don't know the last time I did dots. I'm gonna do dots. Just because, just something to do. So, for my dots, I got, I drew inspiration from two people. I gotta remember the exact two, but I know one was Aaliyah, Aaliyah's face. She does white dots, but just in different places. Like white dots, like she do different styles of white dots. But it's a person that I seen who did dots. I can't remember the other person. But anyway, this is what it looks like. This is the NYX White Liquid Liner. I like how much room you get for an applicator versus just being the applicator. It's just longer to hold, so. I just do them right under my eye, like right under my eye. So let's see if this <laughs> goes great. So I look straight forward and wherever my like pupil, like the inner of my eye is, I go right below it. Done. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry and then get I'm about to get some mascara. Cause when you do this, you're gonna get white on your lower lashes. So. And so like I said in my my other video again, I use the I use the e.l.f. mineral infused mascara. All right, y'all, I'm back. I had to take care of a pickup order. But we're about done. Now I'm working on my lips. So 
So handy dandy brown lip liner or I, I don't know which one because I've had it for so long that the brighten is off of it, but it is by Wet n Wild. So yeah, when I line my lips, depending on the look that I'm going for, now I'm very much into the whole overlining your lips. So I still like, basically I bow my lips up to line them, which you'll see. And depending on if I want like a pouty lip, I just go like straight across my cupid's bow. Or if I want to emphasize my cupid's bow but still have a pouty, I overline but do an X. So I don't know how I'm feeling yet. We're gonna just go with the flow and yeah. I think I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna come in some more on my bottom lip. But basically what I'm doing when I do my lips like this is mimicking my natural lips. My natural lips are brown on the outside and a pinky on the inside. Like mine's more of a like deep mauve pink. But y'all, well usually what I use when I do my lip is either the Wet n Wild lipstick in the color 501C Short Affair. A short affair. I love this. It gives me the look that I go for. Or, I think I overlined my lips too much on my side. Yes, it does. So, usually I use that, or I use the NYX Soft Lip Cream in the shade Abu Dhabi, which is also new. I just got the other day. I finally re upped on some Abu Dhabi. Like, y'all, this is my favorite thing back to back. But now I've decided to give a Morphe lip gloss a try. I love the packaging. And I tried this out the other night. Love it. So this is in the shade Boho. It's just Morphe gloss. I got it from most of the stuff from Ulta. So and then I just put this on the inside of my lip to again mimic what my lips look like. And so now I'm just going to come back in to the outside a little bit more with this brown to just hone in the lip gloss because it's trying to escape like the lines. And I'm not being precise, I'm just coloring what the brown's already in. Period. I got to get my lip gloss because that's like the final touch. And then I'm going to come back with my wig on because I'm going to show y'all how my wig on. If you have not watched my last video, that's why you don't know, okay? All right, you guys, so I'm back. I done went and put my wig on, but come back to the face. So now I am about to add my lip gloss. I'm using this lip gloss, which I got from my friend's business, which I will have linked in the description box and on the screen, like the name of it as well. She sells like lip glosses, lip balms, like stuff for your skin, aromatherapy, like she's like everything. So check her out, buy, buy something from her, let her know that I see you on over if you go from here. But I'm using this lip gloss, which is coconut flavor and scented. And I only use a little bit. Because basically, I feel like once you add that shine, it helps to give that, like, that pouty lip look that I like, that I'm currently, like, into. So I just apply, like, a little bit to the top. But, yeah, so we are, this is, like, the finished look. So I'm going to zoom out, and I'm going to do my outro. So you guys can see what I'm like. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is literally like my go-to. Some of these products might be new, but like I said, there is really like the shade is new. Except for like the Morphe. The Morphe lip gloss is the only thing that was like new, new that I tried, but I really love it. So this is my final look. This will be the look that you will see in maybe one or two videos because I literally got ready to film more videos. <laughs> so stay on the lookout for that. But again, if you enjoyed this, Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Become a Cinebabe, you know, gang, gang. Follow me over on Instagram. Help me get to 10K. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is Sin signing off. Again, thank you for supporting. I love you guys. Peace out.